Includus Publishing. Hi, my name is Charlotte and I am an interviewer for Includus and I had the chance to interview two readers, Lucy from the UK and Fabiola from Texas who loved our YA romance novel, The Pearls of Yesterday, and talk about why disability representation in literature means so much to them. Fabiola Amaya is a first-year social work student with a critical disability studies minor at the University of Texas. She ties her passion for disability justice advocacy to her love of books by reading books that feature disabled characters and portray an accurate representation of their communities. Fabiola also loves to write and hopes to incorporate different forms of representation she has learned into her work. Lucy is a 24-year-old with cerebral palsy. Her podcast, Dandelion Wish and the Dreamcatcher, available wherever you listen to podcasts, discusses disability in the world around us and its representation in the media. Her biggest dreams include either becoming a writer, working in publishing, or working for Disney to create a Disney princess with a disability. Let's take a look at what they had to say. What books do you like to read? Anything that I can get my hands on. I just love any form of literature. I've got walls of three bookcases full of books. The freedom to go wherever I want and and the freedom to explore new places. And yeah, I just love all kinds of books. Um, I mostly like to read fantasy or romance or like a mix of both. I've recently started getting into some nonfiction because um, I started a minor in college last semester called Critical Disability Studies and I've been reading some more books um, within that. But for fun, I mostly read fiction. What do you love about romance stories in particular? I guess most of them have a happy ending and all like everything that leads to that both the happy moments but also the sad moments like the conflicts miscommunication things like that um but i like that there's always a happy well most of the time a happy ending there's that comfort in knowing that no matter what the characters go through um they will end up together and happy at the end how they explore romance in different ways like love's not just one thing, it can mean anything. Um, I like how over the years they've explored the definition of what is love and what does it mean to different people. Like, it's not just romantic love, the freedom to love yourself the way you, you, hey, you should because it's not just between one person, it's how you, you should love yourself. What was the first book you fell in love with? So I wasn't always a bookworm. Um, it's something reading when I was very young I struggled with because I struggled with paying attention. But I remember the first book I was able to read, like it was yesterday, and that was Black Beauty. Being able to read and understand the words and being so sad on the horse and reading about the horse's like story and being like this is what reading is it's not about words it's about feelings and how how they make you feel and being able to share that with the world and it made me realise what I wanted to do, which was also to write my own stories. You can read hundreds and hundreds of books, but it's the books that stick with you, not just for a day or a week, but for the rest of your life. I read as a child a little, but um, I didn't start getting more into books up until like three years ago. But I remember when I was young, it was the Fable Haven series. I've read it like four times. Um, so I remember those being like the books I was obsessed with when I was younger. What was the first book you saw a positive disability representation of and how did that make you feel? Oh, it's not my type, 
and that's what got me more to like books with disability representation that was the first one I read and then I read The Pearls of Yesterday I like reading books with like able-bodied main characters but there's something so special about being able to see yourself in a book and relate to the main character growing up I've always been wanting to find myself in books but when I looked into it there wasn't very many even if they were they were not that great there was like these really really bad romantic books like how can someone write this a couple of years passed and I was going through a really really difficult time emotionally because people always assume because you have a disability you're supposed to be happy and but I wasn't I was just and I kept thinking to myself there was something wrong with me then although it's got mixed conceptions and it's not that great of a book but me before you made me realize that you know these feelings that I have they're okay like there's some flaws but emotionally being able to see someone in the same spot I was in and being able to be like okay these feelings that I have they're valid and I'm allowed to have these feelings no one can tell me otherwise so do you want to tell us how you felt about reading the pearls of yesterday it got quite emotional. A lot of stuff Abby goes through, especially when she's talking about, you know, when she's at a doctor's appointment or when she's like being um, looked over by the doctor and she's like, I've never experienced human touch the way other people do. I, I was talking to my mum about it and she was like, like, are you a cat? It's like, yeah, I'm fine. This is just like <laughs> very emotional. And it, I think also, um, Abigail is on a journey of finding her voice and being able to stand up for herself and finding out that she can do it. Her dad's no longer with her. But he's always a part of her and she's got to learn to raise her voice and stand her ground. So when I first learned about it, um, it was I learned about it and then it was going to be published in a, like a few months. And I was like, oh, my goodness, I can't wait. I read that the main character um, is Latinx and she's a wheelchair user and has muscular dystrophy. And those are also identities I have. Um, but what made me fall in love with it was that like I mentioned it was those small things integrated into the book that added a lot of representation like it didn't have to be this big thing it was just very I guess like casually integrated we were able to see both the reality but also this like other world of pageants and having to like find someone to accompany her to that day and it just like i don't know i really liked it but i was kind of looking through it yesterday and those same feelings came back of just like like there was a specifically like a line that it started a new chapter and it said um like valerie helped me get out of bed and into a shower or something like all books they always describe the actions and it's like i got up i went and took a shower and so just seeing that representation of like having a caregiver help you with this activities it felt like I really I was really able to visualize what was happening because when I read I kind of I don't know I kind of go into that world of like oh I'm there I'm going through the actions as the main character is going through them but I was really able to do that this time with this book um because I knew what it's like to like have someone help me with those daily activities in what ways did you see yourself represented in The Pearls of Yesterday and its characters? I also like how accessibility features were mentioned, like the limo she rode in um, with Hudson was accessible. And so like I have like an accessible van and so I was able to like make that connection. 
rest of her home when it mentioned that her dad was the one who would work on like the accessibility features in her home, like the elevator and the ramps and things like that. It reminded me of my own life because my dad's a carpenter and so he's like wider doors or like a ramp or eliminating like bumps and like it, like where a step would be, it's a ramp instead. And so it just like reminded me of that and how special that relationship and that connection is. Like the one she had with her dad, I have the same one with my dad. So it really reminded me of that. I love her friends. It's not just about Abigail. It's about her friends and the people around her. Some of us, like her friends and her, are using each other as safety blankets, like they're too scared to find stuff on their own. It's safe here, it's comforting. They were, um, were able to say, you know what, the safety blanket's great, mm-hmm. but it's time for us to like explore and do our own thing. Although it's a romance book, it's also a romance between her, her friends and the love she has for her friends and family. In what ways do you believe the pearls of yesterday help fight stereotypes and stigmas in the media about disabled people, specifically about them falling in love and in relationships? Having a disabled main character is so important, but one that is also flawed. I think it's important to show that we're not perfect. We have ups, we have downs, we have dreams, we have ambitions. And I think not writing us as someone in the background who stays quiet and like keeps to themselves that isn't smart. Because the amount of book, books before this were like all um, t- TV shows where they write the disabled character as someone dumb and the bad guy. And it's not like... Um, Having a bad, it's the fact that they're the bad guy because they're disabled. Having the proof of yesterday be, be not only have and and the person with a disability as the main focus, but showing that they're smart, they're intelligent, they have a voice, and they have the dreams, they have ambitions. But they're also flawed. A human being who happens to be disabled shows people, okay, and they're human just like everybody else. We and we should strive to write characters that are humans that happen to have a disability. Yeah. And I think that's incredibly important. And that this book, because they've done a other books is a stepping stone. The media and society in general portray disability as this like tragedy that um, like I remember a specific line where she mentions that people when she goes out they're like oh you're out and about with your wheelchair like that's so special and she's like no not really like it's just normal it did uh, such a good job of portraying like a normal teenager girl but also with the disability aspect of it like she was like oh I have to plan out my first kiss I have to be like wearing lip gloss and like all these silly things that other teenagers do like she was also doing it and so it shows how um relationships and this like romantic aspect of someone's life is also like a normal process and a normal and natural process for someone who's disabled so it just shows how it's like just it's the same pretty much so include us hopes that the thrills of yesterday inspires a long line of romance novels representing disabled people falling in love disproving stereotypes surrounding love and disabilities so what do you personally hope for for the future of disability representation in books and other forms of media i hope that there are more um, there is more representation because, like, I read that first book with disability representation, and that's when I started looking for more, and that's when I found The Pearls of Yesterday. Representation in books, well, I guess in general, but specifically in books about disabled people is so limited, 
And so I just hope it expands more. Um, and I also, something else I liked about the poster of yesterday was that it was intersectional. So it was like a Latin X and just disabled. And so I hope to see that more because disability comes in all like different, with different identities. And so I hope to see more intersectional representation um, and to, yeah, see like more disabled main characters because I feel like sometimes some books will have like a side disabled character that then like dies off and have the focus be on her and her story as a disabled person. Um, I really liked that. That people with disabilities aren't just combined by playing disabled roles. They get picked because of their ability, not because they're disabled. And I hope that this continues and it expands and um, it, it encourages people to be to realise that at the end of the day we're all human beings. You know, we can get married, we can have kids, we can have jobs, we can do this, we can do that. We may struggle and do things differently, but it's, it's who we are and we deserve to just live. Thank you for watching. You can visit Includus Publishing at includus.com.